And in this one, we're looking at the best GPUs between 150 ish dollars to all the way up to 200 dollars. And we have a lot of options, of course, as usual. And these options uh, is not based on, you know, like they are pretty much performing the same, but the only difference is the availability. So it's just a matter of availability, you know. We have to give proper credit to these AliExpress GPUs because they are actually pretty cheap and they really get the job done. And yeah, they are really good in terms of performance. So the GPUs that we have, we have only one brand new GPU that I would recommend, you know, which is the AMD RX 6600. I love this GPU. This is the only GPU that consumes around 115 watts which is way less for the performance that you're getting. Uh, this is usually one of the best GPUs that you can get for 1080p gaming. It's more rel reliable than ever, you know. It's kind of in terms of performance comparable to the RTX 3060 and the 3060 goes for what? $280 brand new right now. So yeah, in terms of performance, it's a really respectable GPU. And if you decided to get it from AliExpress, it will go for around $180. So next up, we got the more power hungry GPUs or more used, you know, GPUs. We got basically the RX 5700. Uh, we got the RTX 2060 Super, we got the RTX 2070, and we got the RX 5700 XT. So the RX 5700 XT, let's just talk about that. This GPU goes for 150 or maybe even $135. And this is the best value for money GPU that you can get right now for under $150. And believe it or not, this is the fastest GPU of the whole series or the whole price bracket. So for under $150, you're getting some performance close to an RTX 4060 faster at a lot of times but there are some drawbacks of course first up you will need a really beefy power supply something over the 500 watts next up this is an old gpu that's probably been used in mining so yeah yeah this might be something but this is a risk that's included to all the gpus on the series so that's not exclusive to the 5700 xt and yeah the power draw it requires two a pin power connectors and yeah there's that and then you'd make the switch to the 5700, which is basically the same as the 6600 in terms of performance, but you are having the same drawback being you have to go with a really beefy power supply. So there's that. And then you'd make the switch to the NVIDIA GPUs, the RTX 2060 Super and the RTX 2070. Basically, they are the same GPUs. There isn't any difference whatsoever. Uh, they are identical GPUs in terms of performance, in terms of power draw, in terms of driver support, they are the same features there is no difference whatsoever uh, maybe the 2060 super has been released after the 2070 as a rebranded one uh, a more cheaper one but at the time uh, yeah there's that actually i had the 2060 super for a long time for like six to eight months you know uh, and i've been having a really good experience with it or i've had really good experience with it and i'm getting another one pretty soon uh, one of the best gpus for under 150 dollars and still is in my opinion i got it actually it took me over a year using this gpu so yeah i'd recommend you get any gpu that you can find if you are team green get with the 2060 super if you're team red you either go with the 5700 5700 xt or a 6600 if you want you know something that's more legit and more brand new than the others so yeah that's really it if you like you're pressing that like button if you want to see that can subscribe i'll see you in the next one peace